Day 6. Genesis 15-17 Rainbow, circumcision, ark, cross. Abraham believed and waited for God's promise that he would give him descendants. God credited him as righteous for his faith. First point. God's plan through Isaac's birth, the preparation of the burnt offering and Mount Moriah. The reason God gave Abraham, Isaac, was to fulfill his plan of the burnt offering and Mount Moriah. According to the customs of the Near East, a man adopted a slave if he did not have an heir. And so Abraham, according to such customs, considered Elijah of Damascus to continue his family line. But God's answer was, a son who is your own flesh and blood will be your heir. God also promised that Abraham's descendants would be as numerous as the stars in the sky. Abraham, at the age of 99, after getting circumcised, which symbolized the covenant between him and God, was able to conceive a son at the age of 100 with Sarah, Isaac, the promised son. And now, finally, God's plan of the burnt troubling at Mount Moriah was ready. Second point, the promise made in Genesis 15 is fulfilled in Exodus 1. God's promise in Genesis 15 of descendants evidently came true, as can be seen in Exodus 1. They multiplied greatly, increased in numbers, and became so numerous that the land was filled with them. Sometime afterwards, Jacob's family of 70 ended up entering Egypt when Joseph said to his brothers, It was not you who sent me here, but God. Here we can discover that Joseph knew about the promise that God had made to his great-grandfather, Abraham. Third point. God's promise about the land was accomplished through Abraham, Moses, and David. God confirmed his plan concerning the promise about Canaan to Abraham four times. First, from Ur of the Chaldeans, go to the land I will show you. Second, when he arrived in Canaan, to your offspring I will give this land. Third, after the Lord left, Go walk through the length and breadth of the land, for I am giving it to you. Fourth, after he saved the lot to your descendants, I gave this land. Eventually, God's promise is fulfilled. Five hundred years later, firstly during the time of Moses, when the borders of Canaan were set, and then one thousand years later during the time of King David and Solomon. Fourth point, the four most important symbols of God's covenant in the Bible are the rainbow, circumcision, ark, and the cross. As a symbol of God's covenant, first, God gave to Noah the rainbow. Second, God gave to Abraham the act of circumcision. Third, God gave to Moses and the Israelites a kingdom of priests, as well as the symbol of the ark. Fourth, God gives us today the cross to forgive us of our sins. Fifth point, his name will be Isaac and his name will be Jesus. Jacob's sons were all named after they were born. Moses' name means delivered from the water. And his name was given three months after he was born. But even before he was born, God gave Isaac his name. Similarly, for Jesus, God, through the angel Gabriel, gave him the name Jesus. I am so excited that you have in your hands now and on your phones the Tong Doc Bible app. And let me tell you why. Very few people, just a handful of people in the world, understand the way Dr. Zhou does. The way that this is one story from Genesis to Revelation, 
one story. And what does it mean for us to daily live that story as our life story? And he has found a way to do this. And let me tell you how important this app is in a, in a biblical sense. There's this incredible passage in, in Numbers 12, verses 6 to 8, where Miriam and Aaron are fighting. All right, these are the sister of Moses and the brother of Moses. And they are insisting that God speaks to them, maybe as much as through their brother Moses. And, and they're, they're bickering and, and going bandering back and forth. And finally, God has enough of it. So he, he calls them into the tent of meeting. And this is what he says to them. Now, this is Numbers 12, 6 to 8. Listen to my words, Miriam and Aaron. When there is a prophet among you, I, the Lord, reveal myself to them in visions. I speak to them in dreams. But this is not true of my servant Moses. He is faithful in all my house. With him I speak. The Hebrew here is pay el pay. Pay is the 17th letter of the Hebrew alphabet and literally means mouth. In fact, the ancient character, the Hebrew character of pay was the, 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 the outline of a mouth. So God is not appearing to Moses face to face. God is appearing and speaking to Moses, you ready? Mouth to mouth. Mouth to mouth. Why then were you not afraid to speak against my servant Moses? The Bible, do you get it? This is the first five books of the Bible, the Torah. We're seen as mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation, the, the continuing of God's breath that was breathed initially into the first Adam. The breath of God brought us to life and made us human. And then the tree of life kept that breathing going. And then we're separated from, from that tree with the fall. And now we have, though, the Word of God. And it comes to us mouth-to-mouth from the divine is these but we need daily mouth to mouth inhalations we need daily marinating of our mind and the soaking of our spirit in in the word of god and that's why a a a tong doc bible is so important well, the devil's tempting jesus matthew 4 4 remember this man shall not live by what bread alone but by what every word that proceeds how from out of the mouth of god the scriptures the story genesis to revelation is the daily mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the spirit of god into humans to make us truly who god made us to be and that's why this app is so important the, the, the scripture was not given to us as a reading. It was given to us as a hearing. You didn't read the Bible. You heard it. Hebrew children didn't read and memorize the Torah. They heard it. And, and, and from the hearing of it, they memorized it, not from the reading of it. And so it is so important that we understand that faith comes by what? Hearing. And as this passage says in Numbers, that from the mouth to mouth, then Moses saw the form of God. So sound becomes sight. It, it is, the ears come first. This app shows you how to do mouth, that God, enables God to do mouth to mouth resuscitation on you every day of your life. 365 days a year. I'm so glad you have it. You will feel that healing that comes from mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit on you as you use this app.